Hello and welcome to <gasps> Boring Objects. What is Boring Objects? Well, it's me talking about Boring Objects. No. Yeah. Uh, my name is Jason Newland and uh, this is Le um, Boring Objects and <laughs> I've forgotten what I'm doing here. And my website is jasonnewland.com. Now, even, I mean, some people might say, what is, what is the point of this podcast, Boring Objects? Well, let me tell you. It's basically just an opportunity to feel relaxed. You can listen to me talking about something it could be anything. It could be a book. It could be books. It could be about, uh, I've done a few of these over the last year or two. And it, it just could be, it could be anything. And I just talk about a subject or an object or an event from my life. And that really is it. Honestly, that's it. And it gives you an opportunity to just relax. Maybe it's a distraction, maybe a company, maybe you fall asleep out of boredom. Um, I kind of wish I could think of a better title for the podcast, but Boring Objects is the, the one I've got at the moment, because it doesn't really give any information about what the podcast is about, does it? Or what the what the reason for the podcast is. But it is to relax. It's to bore you maybe into relaxation or to sleep. So, what could be the subject matter for today? Ooh, I can't think. Airports. Here we go. Airport. That was quick, wasn't it? Airports. Now, I'm not really a well-traveled person. Not really, like, I've been to a few places, but nothing, yeah, I mean, I've, I, I'm one of these weird, I class, so if I go to an airport, and even if it's a, a layover, so I'm on the way some, to somewhere, and the plane stops to refuel, or we have to change planes, as far as I'm concerned, I've been to that country because I have been to that country, but technically I've not, you know, I've not been allowed out of the airport, but I've still been to the country because the airport is in that country. So, you know, I class myself, <laughs> that's how I see it. As far as I'm concerned, I've been to more countries than I've really been to. So the first country, I've been to some countries by ferry. So uh, France and Belgium. Been to Belgium a few times. Uh, France uh, just once. But I travelled across the south of France when I was about uh, 18, 18 years old, I think. And, um, but the first flight was actually before that. It was when I was 18. It was earlier in the year, early in the summer. And I got a flight to Spain, Malaga. Or Malaga, Spain. And that was my very first plane flight. And I was on my own. And I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I was, a, yeah, I was a bit concerned, you know, I wasn't really looking forward to it, but I was looking forward to getting away. And the airport, my memory, I can't remember, I think it was Stansted Airport. And I was there for a, a long time waiting for the the plane, uh, I, I don't know, 15, 16 hours, something like that. Because
because I got there early and then there was a huge wait for them, for the plane to leave, which was pretty much the next day. So what I did is, you know, I bought some books and had read, I actually read a couple of Woody Allen books that were very funny, Radio Days and what was the other one? Radio Days. I'm trying to think now. That's weird. I used to remember it. I remembered it last week. Why has it gone out of my head? Radio Days and I think it was White. Is it White Feather? Something like that. Anyway. They were very, very funny. I also had a copy of Viz magazine that I took with me. And that was very funny as well. So, you know, I was having a good laugh. I was, well, I was 18. I was only, um, yeah, I was, I was 18. Wait a minute. Was I 18? Was I, was I, was I? Yeah. No? Yeah? Uh, yeah, I was. Yeah, I was 18. I was 18. And, yeah. 18. 90. Yeah, I was 19 that year. So it was 1989. But I was 18. And I'm glad we got that sorted out. I was so worried that I might get a, a fact wrong. Oh, no. So, I remember I went, went, so I went to the airport. I got a, actually it was, um, I got a coach to the airport from the, uh, train, well, it was from the bus station. Uh, so it was a fairly fair journey and I spent pretty much 70% of my money on the fare to get there, no, on the, the airfare. So I was going there with very little money. I won't tell you about the trip or anything like that. I'll just try and keep the focus on the airport. But I ended up coming home the same day. So, yeah, I pretty much got ripped off by a taxi driver. And I ended up with no money or hardly any money. So... I thought, well, what's the point? I'm going to be sleeping on the on a beach with no money and I might as well just just come back so I had enough to change the flight uh, to get a return flight or to change I think I might have had a return flight that was like open if that makes sense so you, you just had to book it and you get charged however much to, to book it for whenever so, um, that's what I did. And I got back. Yeah. So I think I must have been in Malaga, Spain. Got there. Got into a, oh, it's lovely weather. It's like really beautiful. It's really nice. I mean, I need to go back because it is, it was nice. It's probably more the kind of summer that I can handle, the kind of heat that's doable. Um, got, yeah, I got a taxi and then he just decided to take me all around the mountains for some reason. And I had to just stop him and say, stop. How much is it? How much you want to pay? No, 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 that doesn't work for me. Sorry. How much? And then I thought, oh, just take me back to the airport. And it was just getting silly. So, but I remember I was, I, I really liked the airport at Stansted. It had everything I wanted. Now it had places you could drink. I didn't drink alcohol back then, but it was, I'm sure it was places you could eat. And there was McDonald's. I think um, it was a lot more relaxed than it is now. Yeah, this is about 19, I said 1989. So everything was more calmer, more relaxed. 
and uh, going abroad to Spain from England was almost like just going to the next town because yeah, we still needed passports and stuff, but it was Europe. We were all part of the same place. I could go out there and live out there, work out there uh, without any problems. Well, apart from being able to speak the language and being able to get a job. Uh, you know, I knew people that had done it, gone out there, and it wasn't quite as easy <laughs> as, uh, it wasn't always easy. I knew, I was going to do that. That's why I went out there, but I ended up coming home early. So I don't remember much of Malaga Airport. So I'm thinking that when I booked the plane, I didn't have to wait long. It was like a couple of hours. So I probably spent more time outside the airport. And then I just went in like half an hour before I needed to, just got on the plane. And I remember on the plane, I think it was coming. So actually going to uh Spain a lady held my hand she held my hand because I was so scared she held my hand and um I think I broke a few of her bones I didn't mean to but I was I mean in her hand I mean, I was, nothing weird I wasn't kicking her no I just it's like I think I squeezed her hand a bit too too much and uh then she tried to kiss me and it was weird. So, but anyway, I, that didn't happen. I don't remember Malaga airport at all. I remember, I remember walking out of the airport and just breathing in that air and the, the warmth, but it was lovely. It was like, wow, this is really, really nice. And then that was it. And then I sort of <laughs> didn't get that far and came back. So the next flight I ever took, so I didn't do another one for quite some time, a long time in fact. So that was 89. I went through the whole of the 90s without getting onto a flight. I did. I didn't. I mean, I actually got myself a... Uh, in fact, I don't think I even used a passport to go to... I used like a, a temporary passport. So I got my first proper passport in 1994. And it ran out. So I used it in 2002. So I used it, you know, uh, just before, uh, two years before it ran out. So... Because I, I decided in 1994 I was going to travel. I thought, what am I doing? Why am I just working and I'm not... I, was, oh, I want to go travel. While I'm still young. And that was my plan. But then it just didn't work out for whatever reason. I didn't didn't go anywhere. Although and I, it's not totally true. I did go to... I lived in an island for a while. In, well, it's actually, it was 90, was it night, blimey, it was 94, wasn't it? Wow. Really? Blimey, I didn't think that was the same year. Anyway, um, but I went by ferry, so I didn't, didn't get an air, airport thing when I went to Ireland. Although my friend kept saying, why don't we get a plane? It's quicker, it's easier. Well, yeah, it's quicker, maybe, depending on, you know. Well, yeah, it's quicker. <laughs> it's, I remember the ferry, it took me all the way to Wales. The, the, the coach was all the way to Wales before getting onto the ferry and then it was all night long. So yeah, it's a heck of a journey, but I liked it. Not so much the coach part, maybe. But definitely the, the ferry. I love the ferry. 
You know, there's so many toilets to choose from. And I, I didn't go on a ferry just because of the toilets. You know, it's not, I haven't got some kind of weird toilet fetish or hobby, but it's, you know, it's just nice. Big area and I don't know. I've always had, ever since I was a little kid and I was taken onto the ferries to go to Belgium, always had a positive feeling towards ferries. I have, I just have. And I remember, because I was little when I first went and I was running around and it was like hide and seek with my brothers and meeting other kids and it was fun. And I've still got that positive uh, feeling towards ferries, which is why if I get an opportunity, I'll get on one. I like them. I do. And I'm lucky I don't have any travel issues. So it doesn't matter how busy or how um, topsy turvy the weather is. It makes no difference to me. So that's good. I love the old ferries. But so that the next time I know this is about airports, isn't it? The next time I went to an airport was in 2002 and my friend and his friends had all booked a holiday to go it was a supposed to be a skiing holiday in Bulgaria but someone pulled out in fact I think what it was is uh my friends she got pregnant and she couldn't go so they offered me a ticket didn't offer me to go to start with. They might have done. I might have just said no. I can't remember. So I decided to go. So, I, you know, it's quite a short notice, but I felt I had about three, three weeks and I managed to get the time off. So I went up and I think I stayed with my friend in London for the night. And then we went up to Bulgaria. No, not Bulgaria. I went to... Uh, we went to the airport. I'm thinking it might have been Heathrow. It might have been another one. But we went to the airport and it wasn't like a huge wait. It really wasn't. We really kind of did it quite well. And the weird thing about it is there was loads of stuff there. There was bars. There was a place. I think we were even playing pool in one place. Now, I didn't see any of that recently. Heathrow's practically nothing there. Apart from when you get through the security, there's all these expensive shops selling crap. Well, expensive crap. Like designer stuff. You know, I remember, maybe I'm wrong, but I have memories of you get through, and there's loads of places you could drink and have a laugh and... It was, you know, quite a nice place to be. Not nice at all. I didn't, didn't really like. And places where you could sleep. They've now got, they can't, you can't lay down on anything anymore. And it's, there's limited seats. It's, I don't, I don't enjoy Heathrow. I'm not, I'm moaning about it. I know, but I'm going to moan. I don't care. It's, I don't find it'd be a very nice place to stay, to wait for, for a, um, a plane. At all. I didn't like any part of Heathrow, if I'm honest. At least the toilets were okay. Again, I've not got an issue. I've got not a thing about toilets. I'm just saying they were okay. <laughs> they were. But, mm, I don't know. Heathrow. I think the airports have gone downhill over the years. It might just be me, but there was a time when you could just... There was so many places to sit, so many places with, like with seating, chairs, tables, so many places to like hang out and people, people would be uh, on the floor or there people, people laying down asleep. Thousands of people all kind of just waiting for planes and that. And now it seems everyone is just, there's nowhere to go. They're, they're really quite, you know, such a huge area. So I guess maybe it's much bigger than it used to be. It's a massive area. Uh, so anyway, I did that. 
went to Bulgaria. So Bulgaria is the next airport I'm going to. Didn't really spend any time there when we, you know, got off and then just left, got on a coach that took us to the hotel through the mountains. Um, I tell you what was weird is I had a cold when I got onto the plane. And as soon as I got off the plane in Bulgaria, as soon as like the air hit me, my cold just went. The mountain air. As soon as it was more the coach than the than the flight, but as soon as I got into that mountain air, my cold went. Like just disappeared, completely disappeared. So I don't I remember Bulgaria Airport coming back because my friend was ill. So we had to call a paramedic and um doctor and everything and you know, so he he was quite unwell. So that was memorable, but it's just I just the actual airport itself just seemed to be very big but very empty. Not a lot of people around. So we were just sitting down. And so that was that was uh, Bulgaria. The next time I travelled wasn't until recently, like on a plane. Um, 2001. 2000, no, 2002, 2012, 2022. So 20 years went by before I got onto another plane. Who'd have thought it, eh? 20 years. And that was going to Thailand. So I went from, but again, I visited different countries. So I went to, oh, what, what is it? Um, Dubai. So I went from Heathrow to Dubai. And then from Dubai, so stopped at Dubai. So as far as I'm concerned, I've been to Dubai, but never got to actually get off out of the airport. And then from Dubai, changed planes and went to Thailand, Bangkok. So I've been to Bangkok airport as well. So there's been three airports, uh, Heathrow, Dubai, Bangkok. Coming back, it was two journeys coming back, not just one. No, three journeys. Yeah, so it was the first plane stopped at uh, another part of Thailand. So left at Bangkok Airport, another part of Thailand. And then went on to Dubai. And then from Dubai to Heathrow Airport. The second time I did it just, uh, I was, I went from, from Heathrow again and then went straight to direct to Bangkok. So it was a 12 and a half hour flight, something like that. So that was, uh, the airport again, Bangkok airport. It's, it's okay. It's just, they almost look so similar. Um, the only thing is, is what I'll tell you now is on the way back, the latest time, I, the, I don't know why I didn't check it beforehand, but it went to Sweden. So it went from Bangkok to Stockholm, got off the plane and had to wait for the next plane. And then from there to Heathrow. Sweden's much, or well, the Stockholm rather, that airport is very small. Not outside, but inside. It's, it's just, everything's smaller. Like the, the security is that little, it's a room. At, I'm, I'm sure it's, they've got lots of different rooms for security for different flights and that, but this was tiny compared to, Heathrow. So I remember getting through the security at Stockholm and then getting to Heathrow and literally being in a queue that lasted for about two hours just in security. Or, uh, I know that was the passport just for the passport bit. 
And literally, we were walking. I felt like I'd walked for miles. Kept making this go back and around and back and around and back and around. So Stockholm Airport, although small, um, I would say it's nice. I quite liked it. Not a lot going on there. But I'm not a huge fan of Heathrow. Just, I don't know. This uh, Stansted may not be any better now. But I just, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just have these memories of there being lots of things to do. You know, like arcades and like game, you know, you can play arcade games and um, just things like restaurants and pubs and bars and things that you could do while you were waiting for the flight. But it doesn't seem to be anything anymore. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that never happened. <laughs> I went through a weird period in the 90s that might have distorted some of, my, some of my memories from the 80s. I don't know. But it's, I don't know, I just had these memories and I, it was a, it was nicer. I didn't enjoy the flight, but it was a nicer wait. And that, that wait, in 1989 at Stansted Airport for the flight to Malaga in Spain. I enjoyed that wait. I actually enjoyed it. It might sound strange, but I did. I had my big bag or a bag and I just, you know, just did whatever I needed to do. I was looking forward to getting away, uh, and it was just nice. I was reading, I was laughing, I was eating. There was everything I needed. In fact, I kind of didn't really want to leave the airport, if I'm honest. I was quite happy there. As long as I didn't have to go home, I was fine. Um, but I did have to leave because the plane arrived. So, yeah, that was that was my experience of airports. Not been to a lot. How many does that work out? Stansted and Heathrow in, in the UK, Mal Malaga in Spain, Bulgaria, and then uh, Bangkok, but I'm going to include Dubai as well because that was part of the journey. Um, so that's six, and there was, I think, Phuket, on the way back from the first journey, so that's Phuket. I didn't get, get to go off of that. We, in fact, we stayed on the plane for about two and a half hours. Um, so I was at that airport, but I never got to see it. And then the next time, I suppose the only other one would be Stockholm, uh, in Sweden. So that's, uh, eight airports. One I've not seen, but all the other seven I did get to see. The eighth one, the this what's well, the seventh out of the eighth was uh, Phuket, and that was in Thailand. But that I got to see the outside of the airport, but I didn't actually get to go inside the airport. But it looked lovely, it really did. Oh, it looked nice. I had cravings. I just wanted to go in there. And, Check out the toilets. <laughs> no. Well, maybe. So that's it from this boring objects. Airports was today's subject. If nothing else, I hope that, you know, you got to relax a little bit. Maybe got to relax, relax. Boring objects. airports let's write it down so i remember so thank you thank you for listening remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy and be gentle be gentle with yourself that's very important because i've been thinking about that a lot lately and being gentle with ourselves could be the most could be the best thing that we can do you know just being gentle Anyway, take care 
and I will speak to you soon. Lots of love. Bye.